So what I'd like each and every one of you to do is to close your eyes down and keep your eyes tightly closed at all times unless I say otherwise. Now it doesn't matter whether you hear my voice, the sound of cars going past or any other external noises, but just normal everyday noises that act as a sign or signal that you're fully in control and aware at all times. And that's the key, you are fully in control at all times in a way that feels right for you. But I'd like to imagine now as I count backwards from 10 down to 1, use your powers of intelligence, imagination and concentration effectively. And just imagine that on the palm of your left hand, the palm of your left hand, is a very big pile of leather-bound library books. And with every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say and every thought that you think, with each second that passes by, that pile of leather-bound library books is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. So it's almost as if they're sinking down, drifting down, dropping down, sinking down. And on nine, Imagine that tied to the middle finger of your right hand, the middle finger of your right hand, is tied a big, huge, red bunch of helium balloons that are rising up more into the air with each second that passes by. So just as the left hand goes lower and lower and lower with each second that passes by, so is a sign and a signal that the right hand goes higher and higher and higher. As on it, with every breath you take. Every noise that you hear, every word that I say, and every thought that you think, merely serving as a sign and a signal. The earth then gets heavier and heavier, sinking down, drifting down towards the floor, towards the core of the earth. Almost all the right hand's going higher into the air. It's fantastic. You're all set, and every nerve fiber tissue or muscle in your body, from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers, working effectively with your powers of intelligence, imagination, and concentration. So that the left hand gets heavier. In fact, it's as low as somebody, almost as if they've come along and stuck another 10 leather bound library books onto that hand. And if I tap you on the hand, it won't bother you, worry you, or concern you in any way. It's just a sign and a signal that those leather bound library books, which are always remain tightly closed, are getting heavier, heavier. Heavier, 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 and heavier. As those little animals start to tire the arm out, every nerve fiber tissue or muscle from your wrist and elbows your shoulders getting so heavy and so tired. As on six, as on six, someone's come along, and when I tap you on the hand, you won't bother you, but someone's come along and tied on another ten big bunches of helium balloons to the back of your right hand. So they start to rise more, floating up into the air, feels so fantastic, towards the sky, towards the rainbow. It's on five and four. The deeper and the more the left hand goes, the more the right hand rises. As on three, the better you feel, the deeper you go, and the better you feel, the deeper you go, the deeper you go, the better you feel. Two, with every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say, and every thought that you think, it's a sign and a signal from this moment forth that those leather bound library books are getting heavier and heavier. And the healing balloons are getting lighter and lighter because on the count of one, you should keep your eyes tightly closed at all times unless I say otherwise. I want you to keep using your powers of intelligence, imagination, and concentration effectively. And as you do that so wonderfully, I want you to realise that from this moment forth, whether I'm talking to you directly or not, Whenever you hear my voice, it's just a sign and a signal for the leather bound library books to get heavier and heavier, sinking down, drifting down, feeling so good. And for the red healing blooms to get lighter and lighter, rising up into the air. Now, in a few moments' time, I'm going to touch one or two of you on the back of the hands. When I do, it will not bother you, worry you, or concern you in any way. It will not bother you, worry you, or concern you, or disturb you in any way. It will just be a sign and a signal. You can relax completely every nerve, fibre, tissue, and muscle in your body. Keep your eyes tight, closed at all times, once I say otherwise. Take a nice deep breath in. And I'm only going to be talking to you directly if I should tap you on the hands. Even if you don't hear me, just allow us to get heavier and heavier. And the healing will to get lighter and lighter and lighter. I should remain tight and closed, and just Drifting down, drifting down, out of any time to close. The deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. And just slip, drifting down, sinking down. The deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. With every breath you take, every noise that you hear, the tap of the hands, and the you on the hand. Just slip, drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, sinking down. The deeper you go, the better you feel, you will not fall off your chair. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Nasty breath in hand, the deeper you go, the better you feel. I shall make
just drifting down, sinking down, letting your head fall forward, remain tight, close at all times, unless I say otherwise. I'm talking to each and every one of you. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, it just allows the fresh oxygen into your bloodstream so you can feel fantastic. And as you breathe out, it allows all the negatives of the days, weeks, months, and years gone by to leave your mind and leave your body now to empower you so you can find a superhero within yourself. We can only count from one to five, and on the count of five, if you concentrate, as I'm sure you will, then you'll find that from that moment forward, whenever I say sleep, as quickly as this, as quickly as this, that's half the thing, which will instantly allow your eyes to close, your head to fall forward onto your chest, and you'll instantly be able to this state. Except what you will find is each and every time you do, it will be 100 times deeper, more relaxing, Enjoyable, pleasurable, and rewarding for you. But the very moment I tap you on the shoulder and say wide awake or indicate otherwise, then and only then you'll instantly open your eyes and you'll find that you've got an overwhelming desire to do almost anything and everything I say, so long as it's within your moral code and value. And you find that when you do, what was one minute purely imaginary, the next minute becomes very real, believable, genuine, and almost like virtual reality for you. Keep your eyes totally closed, keep it, nod your head if you understand. Fantastic. And you find the very moment I say, sleep, 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 sleep. Drifting down, sinking down, hundred times deeper, more relaxed and enjoyable for you. Whenever I give you a suggestion, if I was to say it's cold, it'd be a hundred times colder. That will become your reality. If I say it's hot, it'll become a hundred times hotter in a way that feels right for you. I'm only talking to you now if I should tap you on the shoulder I'm talking to. You. One, two, three, you're right we see the chair, one, two, three, you're wide awake. Um, one, two, three, wake your eyes and shine. One, two, three, wake your eyes and shine. One, two, three, wake your eyes and shine. And one, two, three, wake your eyes and shine. Fuck you, if I can do that, never leave the house. Okay. <coughs> uh, I was asked a question earlier today if you were trying to get a copy of what I filmed, which I've been filming in terms of because me with No one can claim I've done stuff that happened. That's why I always advise you to film all your shows, whether you must sell them or not, so that you've got a proof, because it makes the world a difference. Um, and the answer is yes, when it's MPEG, it'll be in MPEG format, so the full day is on one disk, so you'll have to look on the computer, but yes, you can have it as back of notes by all means. Which is always good if perhaps you don't remember certain things. Uh, I find that sometimes. The plus point, because certain things you may not have seen, or you may not have seen what other people did, so it'll make more sense when you see the uh, video. Um, obviously, I know you know, but I'm going to act now as what I've done. It's like a show of shouts up. Steve, nice to meet you, Steve. Let's get ready. Slip deeper, 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 deeper. Drifting down, sink down. Look at that. Fantastic. The deeper you go, the better you feel, and the better you feel, the deeper you go. And if you hand up your mouth, you worry or concern, you should sign and signal to relax more completely. Drifting down, you will not fall out of your chair. Stuck firm, rigid, and safely in your chair. That's fantastic. And as your eyes remain tightly closed, the deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. Anything I say won't bother you, worry or concern you in any way, shape, or form. Now, you wouldn't do anything that like that, would you? <laughs> no, exactly. What should I say? Wait. Wait. Just stand up a second, wait. Come here. Walk forward. Feet together. Look at me. Nice deep breath in. Drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, drifting down. The deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go with every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say, and every thought that you think. That applies to everybody that can hear my voice. And it's not saying won't bother you, worry or concern you, it just helps you drift down, sink down, and feel more relaxed, comfortable in every way, shape, and form. Okay. <laughs> Apparently that hypnotised. Uh, you wouldn't do anything daft like that, would you? No. no. What's your name? 
Okay, and then okay, and is going towards fetch to sign the signals into a shared like I had before. You will not fall out of your chair, that's stuck firm and rigid. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Eyes are ready, clamped closed at all times, unless I say otherwise. It will not bother you, worry or concern you. Drifting down, sinking down. The better you go, the deeper you feel, the deeper you feel, the better you go. I'm only talking to you if I should touch you on the shoulder. He's looking embarrassed. Uh, I, 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 I too, frankly, will, but you know what is the interesting thing? Just hold that a second. Fantastic. I'm just going to um, no, I'm sure come to you now. What's interesting? Just catch that. Flip. Drifting down, sinking down, deeper, deeper, deeper. I should have been closed at all times unless I say otherwise. Feeling so fantastic in every way, shape, and form. See that hand? Just look at it. Fantastic. Now, this may all seem a little strange to you. This is probably what you were hoping to see, I'm guessing, yeah? Mm -hmm. This may be sort of the vibe, yeah? Now, you obviously wouldn't do this in therapy, um, but you might do something like that. The point is, we'll explain after to everyone, one of the fully conscious is the psychology behind it, which ironically does relate to this morning, but I left one key point out on purpose, because otherwise, this wouldn't have worked if I'd have uh, explained that final key point. That's one for you, mate. I'll just go down. Deeper, 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 deeper. The better you go, the deeper you feel, the deeper you feel, the better you go. Fantastic. And you see, now you're wondering what these people are thinking of feeling and experiencing. They're thinking it looks really strange. And this I know. Um, even though you, I've already told you, you're fully aware of everything that's going around you at all times. And as I talk, this person I start to become on the horizon, it's called rapid eye movement, they have some relax on, they drift down deeper. And the same happens over it. And in fact, if I lift this gentleman's hand up, jumping on the floor, when I lift it up in a few moments' time and drop it down to the floor, you just sink down and you can't see if you're not you worry or concerned, you're just drifting down. Fantastic. It's weird how this happens, and yet the feeling you feel inside is totally normal in every way. It's really, really, really strange how if you just take your hand there, put your hand there like that, that's fantastic. Keep staring at your hand. Whatever I say to these people, keep staring at your hand at all times. Centre of your hand, do not distract from the centre of your hand. I'm going to talk to you if I tap you on the shoulder, and I'm talking to you. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, 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 wakey. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Yeah, we've got the drivers there, we've got the number as well. Fantastic. Those of you who are fully with us, give uh, each other a round of applause. You keep staring at your hand. Fantastic. Just keep staring at your hand, that's a sign and a signal. And we are going to explain all this in a few moments' time, because uh, that's sort of kind of why we're here today. Uh, but we're going to do that as a group. Now, I've never done it this way before, but we're going to do it slightly differently today. Uh, as a group. And what is fantastic is, do you see that spot there, yeah? Okay. What's two and two? Yeah, you're an accountable. Fantastic, that's brilliant. If I was to say 97 minus three, what's that? 94. Fantastic, that's brilliant. Are you right or left handed, aren't they? Right normally. Right normally. That's wonderful. Okay. What I like to do is stand up all this way. Okay, put your hand together. Okay, okay. hand by your side. Keep looking your hand, turn your head well back. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Then out through your mouth. In through your nose, then out through your mouth. In through your nose, now through your mouth. Keep breathing deeply and regularly. In through your nose, now through your mouth. In a few moments of time, I'm going to place your hand onto your forehead. When I do, it's just a sign of a signal. If your eyes haven't already closed by that point, it'll allow your eyes to close down. To keep them tight and closed at all times, unless I say otherwise, just to allow yourself to sink in a lovely, relaxed state of mind. And you're fully in control at all times. Let's deep breath in. It's on three. So I'm stiff as bring your hand towards your face. Just feel yourself on the jump backwards. Now I'm not going to let you fall and hurt yourself. You're going to stay. I'll make sure that you're safe. Relax back to the deep you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deep you go. And the breath you just make every noise that you hear, every word that I say, and every thought you think. So it's a sign of a signal. So you should go some time, it's an education, concentration, and practice. Feel yourself on the jump backwards. I won't let you fall and hurt yourself. Just come through the ground. Ah, slip, 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 slip. Slip, 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 slip. I tighten and close at all times on my side, say otherwise, drifting down, sinking down with every breath you take, every noise you hear, every word that I say, every time I do this, that, that. Instantly, a hundred times deeper, more relaxing and enjoyable for you as you realise it's a sign and a signal that you're using your powers of intelligence, imagination, concentration effectively in every way. And realise that whenever I say slip, 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 as quickly as that, slip, slip, slip. From this moment forward, you can just allow yourself to let the heavy eyes 
close, to let your head fall forward onto your chest and to instantly re enter this state. Except each and every time you do, we are 100 times even more relaxing and enjoyable for you. It will be almost as if it's like that most, most ever absorbing puzzle or sum that you've ever had to devise. The most absorbing thing that you've had to really use your mind and focus on and realise that you have all those powers within you right now to allow that to occur to you in a way that feels right for you. No, you can find the superhero from within yourself. I'm only talking about to touch you on the shoulder. One, two, three, make your breath and chat. You get it. Give the gentleman a round of applause. <laughs> okay. I, I suspect you're all going to be quite glad that it was big though, and you can have a copy of the footage because essentially there was a point there where none of you had your eyes on <laughs> So. <laughs> How exactly is that a learning experience? Well, more so than you'd imagine, I suspect. Because I didn't lie before lunchtime. I didn't. What I said was entirely the truth. In the context of the way the question was asked, that I got asked, I answered it truthfully. Had I been asked the question, had I ever in the past been hypnotized, or rephrase, found myself in a situation where there was a motivation that made me want to do that which the hypnotist type person said, then the answer would have been yes. Three times. One when I wanted Andrew Newton show, he didn't know me at this time. And how the fuck he didn't realise I wasn't 18, God only I was about 30. <laughs> I must have looked all right for a second. Uh, one was when I volunteered for uh, Ken Webster when I was about 14 and a half. And one was when I volunteered for Peter Powers when I was 17. But my motivation was nothing more than I'll do whatever they say if I'm allowed to remain on that stage and they don't talk who I am or think, mm, I'll do it. Because I know that I'm going to be listening to everything that's said that may not be heard on the microphone. I want to see what's said. I want to prove your vision when your eyes keep apparently closed. I mean, that probably looks like an eyes closed, yeah? Pretty much, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I can see each of you. Only your feet, I can see. It's amazing what you can pick up when you choose them. And it was educational. It was highly educational in so much as there wasn't actually as much of what I thought might have been going on as I thought. It was literally said over the mic, there's a suggestion, do it. Very rarely, occasionally, with the microphone pulled away, with music going on and a routine going on, occasionally you'd hear one of them would voice somebody. You're doing fantastic, go up where the audience look you, you should all turn in a minute. Could clearly the spot this person was like, why haven't I been picked for a bit, feeling left out. But it was very educational. Now, hmm, not done this this way before, though again, I haven't, as a rule, ever hypnotised or manipulated everyone in the room. <laughs> That's a bit different. I would suggest that if you want to learn the most you can out of this, then you're as honest as you can be over the next five, ten minutes or so. Uh, because that way everyone will learn more, including yourself. For a few moments, forget everything I've said this morning. Okay, which I know is a little bit difficult to do. But forget everything I said this morning. And we're going to come around you one by one. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to tell you what we're going to do. Then I'm going to give you sort of 60 seconds thinking time. And I want you to be honest to yourself in so much as what enters your head at that moment. Stick with that. Don't when it becomes your turn because someone else has said something that's totally different. Don't then alter. Be honest because you'll learn more by being honest, okay? So this is the thing, here's your 60 seconds thinking time before we come round here. Well, whatever you come up with, please be honest and stick to that. Don't be influenced by the group, 
if it seems if it seems like yours, it's all way off from what everyone else said. Good, because that ties in with the fact that it's different for everyone. You've got to remember that. So there's no right or wrong answer here. This is not about winning a test. It's not an exam. This is educationally helping you. Trevor. So bear in that in mind. The 60 seconds thinking time is about this. Why the hell have you just let me waste the past 20 minutes of this seminar doing next to fuck all um, <laughs> and getting you to a point where your eyes are closed and you're really complying? Why is it that if I come up to you now and just say, sleep, 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 deeper, 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 that this person goes under you can say, by the way, he does what you'd expect. Why is it that if I come to you and say, sleep, deeper, 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 that he'll do it? Why? What's the point? I'll tell you why. Why is that possible? Why is it that even if I was to take you up your hand and bring it towards your face, do your clothes, dry down your hair, and so forth, you feel the need to remain there and relax more and more and more? One, two, three, by the way, I'm not going to do everyone. The point is, why? Based on everything I said this morning. What did you feel was the experience for you? You can start. Okay. Basically. I've never been in the experience of, if you like, stage experience with I am, if you like, the victim. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to be yeah. <laughs> from <laughs> someone from that point of view, that experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that is why, to be honest with you, as much as I am normally, I like to be, have a little look, see what's going on. But I wanted to experience it from the other side of the fence a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, to be honest with you, what I felt I was doing was just simply being compliant for me to learn from, if you like, the person who's being hypnotised point of view. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. So you describe the motivation for doing it? That's my motivation for doing it. That's right. How strange. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I'm just going to, let me just wipe that out a second. Right, so we've got one nice word there. Start with motivation. Remember, this is not some kind of test or exam. It'll all make sense. I'll bring it together towards the end of this section. Understanding, understanding of what you said, well, understanding is a big word. Understanding. Okay. Understanding, or even the word comprehension there. Look at that one in our name. It's about this all together. It's all the end of the section. Oh, okay. we'll start on the left and go to the right. Uh, no, we'll start on the right and go to the left. We'll do that because being the last person is the most pressure. And I'm sorry, we're going to the most pressure for anyway. Uh, so, tough luck. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> so, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Conf um, for me, we were able to say confusion. Yeah, I was I about to say. It. It. I, 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 not I, was, I was about to say that why wouldn't I? Okay. And yeah, the, I was confused and really. Cool. I don't know whether it's the time to question it or what it was, but yeah, confusion and why wouldn't I? Brilliant. You don't know how important that is yet to pull all this together, but actually, you just had a fantastic learning experience. <laughs> now, Barry, I'm only observing you. I don't know, but actually. Well, as an observer, was it you? Observer, but also, like, you know, I, I was being affected by it because, you know, apparently I'm human as well, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I, I kind of knew what was coming because of, you know. No, I should go with you, but I just And, yeah, and yeah. I enjoy the feeling, actually. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the feeling, that's what I'm um, I'm going to come back to Barry in a little bit, if you don't mind, because uh, Barry, because of his unique experience of having done this for so long, and observing what occurred, will either have a different point of view than me, which is fine, or it'll be similar but a bit different, it'll be useful to have uh, two new points on certain things. Well, it's not really answering your question, but we've been asked why about four or five times before you asked the proper question. And you did say be honest and stick with what you've got. So, yeah. So I just thought, well, it's about the environment we're in and we've been conditioned in a way to comply. Alright, so you believe you were conditioned to comply, Kurt? Believe. In this environment. Conditioned to comply in this environment. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Uh, if I was just to take it a little bit further in terms of how we felt, 
It was just relaxing. That, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Just relax. Cool. Fantastic. Thank um, you. It was strange at the beginning, just to begin with, because I said my mind's all analytical and I'm constantly thinking about things. To begin with, it felt almost as though I was playing along. Because you were there breathing and deeply. <laughs> you felt it more. I felt obliged to be doing the same thing. But I almost felt myself wanting to smoke because I realised that it wasn't real, as it were. Yeah. But then at the exact moment I was put under, that felt as though it was totally out of my control. At that point, I wasn't like... Once I was on the floor, mm -hmm. it almost, in my own mind, it went back. I was very aware I was there and I was very aware of what was going on. But the exact moment, either when you put me down when I was standing up or when you shook my hand when I sat down at the exact moment that I went under, it didn't feel like I was consciously choosing to, not choosing to, it just happened. And it was only once it happened that I had time to think about it. That's fine. Thanks for worrying about that. This will become relevant to what we're doing again. I promise you I'm not going to make my time here again. Because I've looked at me. Anyway, <laughs> well, keep going. Just stand there, that's fantastic. Okay. Right, right foot, just put it forward. Uh, in fact, stand back a little bit. Right foot, a little bit forward, there about that. Just look down there, okay? I want you to imagine someone's come, but in a not a painful manner, they've yeah. come and staple gun the foot down right now. It's like the world's from you since the they have stuck it down right now. And if you stare down with your foot, realise the staple gun nailed down when you realise that just over your head. Imagine it before we go reality and just try and lift up the foot. Just try them while you try them while it sticks, sticking tighter and tighter. Just try them while you try them while it sticks. Now in a minute, I'm going to tap you on the foot. When I do, that'll be absolutely fine. It'll be all lift up, but you'll find that your hand's stuck. Well, there. there you go, lift that up. Yeah. Stuck fast tight, just try and move your hand from there, the more you try to wind sticks, like a magnet. It's really, really weird. What's really weird is when you touch it, it comes away. When it does come away, just touch your hand like that, and it actually sticks to your head. It's really weird, it sticks to your head there. Lock blue, well, it's meant to be in place. And it's really, 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 really weird. Prove it to yourself that you should power my mind. Just try and put it away, the more you try to wind sticks. Lock blue, well, be fast. It's really weird. Now, the moment I tap you on that sort of arm here, not only will your hand separate from your head, but the instant will be into that set, which you're trying to be more relaxing and go up a few. One, two, three, and just sleep. You can relax. Drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, sinking down. Deeper, 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 deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. I'm going to wake everybody up very shortly anyway. Don't worry about that. But for now, one, two, three, you're fine. Wait, 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 you're going to Thank you very much. Give the gentleman a round of applause. about being a cunt, this is a learning and educational scenario, this question is going to sound a little bit offensive and it isn't. Um, why did you just allow me to do that? <laughs> I don't know, because I'll be honest, it felt, it felt different that time, but I think that's from the training environment and I'd expect from what you were doing in a different way perhaps. Like every, like when I was put under that time, it wasn't quite the same. So I did it differently on purpose. Like the reason for that is, we'll come to that later, but the reason for that is shock and unexpected. Like and if I did it the exact same way, you could have overthought it, analysed it. My eyes didn't shut when I was almost as far as expecting it. Mm -hmm. But whereas the first time I was playing there, my eyes felt like instantly shut and it wasn't part of my control. Yeah. Nothing was, it wasn't myself choosing to do it. Whereas that time, once you put me under, as in when I was dropping to the floor, Straight away, I wasn't under. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't until I probably hit the floor that my eyes started to close and... And yet, it's really weird. Why did you... What was the benefit of you doing that? It's not confrontational, is that? No, 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 no. The reason, when you look at it, I'm sorry, I'm just, from where I'm sat, there's no logical good reason. No. Is there? What's... And it felt like I should have been able to... Yeah, I know, that's thinking. really weird. You know, there is the point there. And what is more weird than all of it is that knowing that there's no logical good reason... I could have lifted my foot up, for instance. I could have lifted my foot up. And why didn't and you? I was, no, exactly. And I was aware that it could have happened. But I wasn't choosing not to. And it's fantastic. Yeah. And thank you for at least doing that. Sleep, 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 deep, 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 deep. It's called hypnosis. Your eyes remain tight and closed at all times unless I say otherwise. Everything I said this morning is complete and utter lying, yet it is also the complete and utter truth. That's the paradox of this. It's something that doesn't exist unless you believe it does. The moment you believe it does, it does. 
But it's your job to create that environment where it goes home to sleep. Why don't you have to go? Fantastic. Now, when you have created that environment, it's very easy to tell people in and out of it. And it doesn't matter if you tell them that it's a crock of shit. <laughs> like it or won't it, you cannot resist. In fact, the more you try to resist it, the more you would just end up going. That's not because I'm particularly clever or anything, the truth is it isn't. The only thing I think I'm pretty good at is an understanding of human nature. The truth is anyone can do this in exactly the same way when you understand the building blocks behind it. This morning the building blocks were there, I'm going to bring them all together very shortly, but we haven't yet totally gone around the room, so... Yeah, um, I think I spent a lot of time just before consciously being aware of what was going on because Kind of quite aware of what was happening with the, with the like heavy test anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Which is sort of prying a lid, but that can. But yeah. That, but the thing is, that can happen with genuine volunteers, with the odd element, because they may have read a book or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's one of my big learnings from that, I'm very on a personal, very personal level, but I know that if I'm sat full with my arm here after mm -hmm. about 30 seconds, it fucking hurts. And that just takes my mind off. Uh, what you were saying and what was going on, I would, I would just focused on that. But stupidly enough, you can fucking move it. And yet, I'll let you into a secret. Yeah, that happened to much. No, it wasn't. It happened to her. Yeah, the, the first time we did the. the oh, I know, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought I was sad. It calls it the seesaw, and that's what it's called. Yeah. Alright, I'm not going to answer the seesaw. Why did I move it? Because I couldn't. Yeah, I was. Yeah, but because Why didn't you? It was bloody. Why didn't you avoid. Exactly. Um, for me, it was a, a feeling of my, uh, compliance. Compliance? Yeah. Okay. Not wanting to make you look twat. <laughs> That's a monster, man. I don't pay for being a crap. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? That, that, was, the, that was the thing. It's, I think it was, so it, it, that was the feeling that I had. I just need, I just need to do this and just carry it through. And make so. look at Yeah? <laughs> okay. You can cross it out. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. The other really in, uh, interesting bit was when you did the, the handball the first time. Mm -hmm. I got a real sense of that uh, in the shock thing at that point, mm -hmm. which I've never, no one's ever managed to get. All oh, right, I'm very sorry. No, 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 Look to the right, look to the left, look to the right, look to the left, look to the right. Slate, slate, deeper, 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 deeper. If you go, the better you feel, the better you feel. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, you broke yourself out there, but you definitely felt something, didn't you? Yeah, that yeah. was absolutely bizarre. Was, what did you feel? Yeah. That was like, scary bit, the fact that yeah. you felt something, weird, yeah. didn't it? It was, uh, the, 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 the... Disorientation. There's a tiny yeah. game board. Really? Yeah. We like that word. Let's put that word, disorientation, yes. I love that word. It was that disorientation. That, that was the point at which I'm thinking, oh, fuck me, hang on, something's going on here that I'm not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not, not so, sure. what happens when you feel that? What does that lead to? <laughs> that, I, that I, find, I find it difficult to answer in that as soon as that moment's over, I can I then have the conscious kind of analytical process back again. That's what I found, because I'm actually sure. hypnotised. Yeah, sure. Hypnotised. And no, it's a guy. It was a uh, so thing you want to throw in. Because of the context, you knew we were going to be doing things like yeah, this. Yeah, quite. Exactly. And you walked up on stage, and that's the first thing I did to you. Oh, and it wasn't you. No. no. You're, that's it, you're gone. Yeah. Because you're going to have bloody clue. No. That's actually a Gil Boyne technique. Gil Boyne's not with us anymore, but it was great at the most issue. And Christopher Crash uses a very similar induction to that, very regular. I mean, literally, they walk up on stage, they've done the suggested belly test, say, a lot of times. And when they walk up, he goes, oh, what's your head? Can you walk left, right, left, right, right? And that's it. That is the induction. You know, I mean, we're talking ridiculously fast. And there was a time, up until about probably five years ago, where I really twigged this that I used to think inductions need to take that a little bit longer uh, to get the compliance that you require. And then I realised actually the longer the induction takes, the less compliant the likely to be because it's showing your lack of confidence in what you're doing. If you're actually really good, you're tying your there firmly for being able to walk up and go sleep, wouldn't you? So you've got to find ways of being able to do that, which is where this is all going to tie together shortly. So they're great answers. Uh, thank you for that, I'm sorry I've... No, no, no. As you'll see, I did make sure you didn't hurt yourself and you went there for you. No, it's fine.
point, but if you'll see on the camera, I'm not going to break down the mechanics of that, it's all on the no, DVDs, right. but I'm aware of what's likely to happen, so I make sure you can't fall backwards. Right. I've got you covered this way, so if you try and fall to that side or that side, or ideally I'm going to twist you to go that way, so you're going to, but either way, I'm ready for you to fall. Because that is generally what people do, because what we've done is create a moment in time when the fight, flight, shock response turns into freeze. Which I, I would definitely agree with, mm -hmm. that that happened in that. Yeah, and it's slightly different. And you do that with someone with no prior knowledge, it's going to be amplified That's massively the feeling. Sure. Thank you for that. Uh, really, uh, great input. Uh, this is really helpful for everyone. I think you went for it. Oh, you did, yeah. Alright, so then we're next, yeah, sorry. We've got to shoot at last. Sorry, I've left you for last because it's unfair to, you know, new people put the pressure on See, so work for me. Seesaw always works for me, mm -hmm. on some level. Um, probably didn't it? Do any harm in fact to lack of sleep last night. Had a couple of bites of lunch now. Purple pen. That was, I was expecting something completely different. I was expecting microphone on forehead induction. When he actually threw it to me and went to sleep, I literally caught it and went, and it felt like, Five seconds to me. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? But it was sort of. I'm going to paraphrase that as what the fuck's going on. Yeah, because I was expecting something different. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, but it was easier to go along with it than not yeah. to go along with it. Yeah. I couldn't see the point in sitting there and going. Mm. And it wasn't just because it's training seminar, I don't know, yeah, it was a case of. Keep talking, please. Give right. a few times to get this additional chair. But that's literally how it felt. And Alex is going up there several times on different levels. Rob's used seesaw on me more mm -hmm. than once. Seesaw that Yeah. 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 But it's like we'll get the full training. You're going to walk away with the full training DVD, something like that. Like, yeah. that's Can I at this point just share a little Yes, please, please do. Regarding the hand, I met this guy on the beach in Bali and he said, well, for 12 years, he couldn't put his arm past there. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, he can move a bit farther, mate. You know, he's a 60 year old guy. He moved a little bit farther. Come on, that's okay. So, he closed his eyes and just held his hand out until he got heavier and heavier. Only probably a minute. Then I said to him, I just turned his hand over, he got his eyes closed, I said, I'm just going to tie it with the hand and just let it rise. So I expected maybe there, I did. I expected something because mm -hmm. you know which arm goes up. Yeah. He went crunch, 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 right the way up. We were in a cafe on a, on a beach, I thought, shit, you know, it's, this is, his arm, it really crunched. He keeps everybody stopped and looked. And, and then he, he just went up and right, opened your eyes, look at your hand, and he went, there was no pain, he said. And he went. And he said, for 12 years he's had his arms stuck. Neither the belief was there that he couldn't mm -hmm. move. I thought he moved me. But well, he went right over. And I saw him for the next three days. And his arm, he just couldn't see me. Well, yeah. like, amazing that, that, you know, the belief was Well, yeah, it's also, it's also, it's 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 like, people amplify a problem. Yeah. They make it worse. Yeah, but the crunchy, oh, oh God, that looks like you paid. It really did crunch. Well, yeah, we use it for the other one. It's like a group of people. Yeah, we couldn't do that. Yes, yeah. 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 a couple of days later, he was telling somebody in a, in a bar, and, he, and, and then and I just happened to tell him, that, oh, there was no pain. And he said, oh, you never said anything about pain, how much do you want? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pain, pain, yeah. And pain, yeah. yeah. You know, it's just something like right. So we've got various comments from people, okay? Now, very short before we have the very short afternoon break and then actually physically teach you the mechanics behind stress ability test and induction, it's not just one or two, several. Uh, albeit with the DVDs you're walking away with, I've got 26 different induction techniques on. They've got 12 different suggestibility tests, they've got all the walls, the health and safety. It's not the transparency set by the way for those people involved, that's so don't worry, you haven't wasted the money. Um, I just this is the first time I've ever done a training in daily like this where I'm being totally honest with you. By everyone with DVDs, you can turn it to whether I've, I just haven't. Where I haven't essentially just 
talked and explained things, perhaps demonstrated them on the audience, but we've taken it on a totally different level. Really. Now, hopefully, that's proven to be beneficial in people's understandings. Or at the moment, also hopefully, there are level of confusion maybe on some levels at the moment. Because there's definitely somebody um, who wondered at lunchtime if I was lying to you about this and saying it's a cop as a way to give you more confidence to do it. And lots of people think that, and then there's other people are buying immediately to what I've said that it is all crap and should be manipulated psychology. And the truth is, I don't know. I know what I come to the conclusion of based on my experiences. And through those experiences and changing my mindset, I've been able to go from taking 20 minutes from having walked on stage, taking 20 minutes to perhaps being able to get into routines, to literally be able to get people on stage and throw them on the floor, and being to comedy stuff within five minutes. I know that the moment my attitude and belief change, the result change, that I can tell you for a fact. Is that because what I said this morning is true? In my head, clearly it is, because that's what I believe. Enough, anyway, because I do still have this slight element of what if. But I believe it enough that that gives me the confidence to walk up to people randomly, if need be, well, not on the street, I wouldn't make this legal and be the fun, but stage if they volunteer. Rather than getting them all, you know, and I'm, still, I'm spending hours, I now know that I would literally just go up to them and go, that's me, go share my number, go, slip, 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 keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, there's no logical good reason to open your eyes about why you should still be reacting in that way. Other than the fact, and here's the interesting thing, this is the best lesson for all of you, uh, whatever happens, this will be a really good lesson for you in terms of everything I've said this morning. Everyone look at this pen. Not at me, at the pen. Take a nice deep breath in. And out. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Okay, just keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. It's a sign and signal for having nerve fiber tissue and muscle in your body from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers to become so limp, so loose, so relaxed. So heavy and so tired. In a moment, I'm going to lift the pen up in the air. When I do, at that very moment, I'll say something. And when I do, you can just instantly react to that state you've been in before. Three. Drifting down more, two, and on. Slick! Deeper, 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 deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. With every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say, just drifting down, sinking down, and what you breathe and so Drifting down, sinking down, drifting down, sinking down. That's fantastic. With every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say, I'm talking to each and every one of you in the room. I'm going to count from one to five. On the count of five, and only on the count of five, you'll instantly be wide awake. On the count of five, then and only then you'll open your eyes. When you do, every single suggestion, idea, or thought that I've given you hypnotically will be completely cancelled out in the manner of it ever affecting you, unless you wanted it to do at a time in the future. But it will not bother you, worry, or concern you, it will not affect you it. Be affected by it um, if anyone says these words, including me, unless it, we start from scratch again, essentially, okay? Now, realising that on the count of one, everything that I said is completely cancelled out in every way, shape, or form. However, on two, you do realise by that I mean I just mean the hypnotic experience. It doesn't mean you're going to forget what we've talked about this morning. Well, no, if anything, that becomes ingrained in every nerve, fibre, tissue, and muscle in your body from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers. So that you can, in the future, remember it as an automatic reflex action. So even without realising it, you'll instantly have this instinct, this desire, this ability within you to, to, to just know the best type of induction to use, whether it be a shock one or a gentle one. You just have this ability within you to adapt what you're doing and realise it's about being flexible. As on three, you realise it's about improvisation, it's about remaining in control, it's about being dominant. And living the part, giving the person the dream they've got. Now that dream to them may just be a misconception from TV shows or films, but still, nonetheless, 
It's what that person expects, so don't disappoint them. You've done the hypnotist they're expecting. And realise that every nerve fibre tissue and muscle in your body are full. It's almost full every nerve fibre tissue and muscle is being washed with pure spring water, re energising, revitalising all the stresses, worries, tensions, fears, and the uh, complicated crap of days and weeks gone by is leaving your mind and leaving your body right now, feeling good, starting to come apart of it, and all the fine, you can open your eyes at the time that feels right for you, feeling so good, you may want to rub your eyes slightly. Because some of you may find that you actually need a wing and stuff, I suggest now is a good time to have a 10 minute break. It's 10 to 4. Please be back in here for 4 o'clock because in the last hour and 45 minutes, <coughs> that's when you learn how to hypnotise. Thank you, everyone.